Hi everyone, uh, Caitlin from the Media Arts Council here. Um, today I'm going to show you a fun little quick craft uh, using duct tape and Ziploc bags. Um, I first did these um, actually at an event in the city at uh, Philadelphia Magic Gardens. Um, they have some fun summer programs uh, and a lot of the evening programs have crafts. So um, I've had one of these for years. Um, I've used it to carry around receipts and things. Um, all kinds of stuff. I've recently been using it, using them to carry around uh, some Lysol wipes. So um, it's a nice little, slightly more durable than just a plastic bag. Um, but really, the only thing you need, uh, duct tape. Um, I like freezer bags with this kind of seal. Uh, they just seem to last a little bit better and they're easier to operate. Um, and the freezer bags are a little bit thicker than a regular sandwich bag. And actually, the duct tape I'm going to use today is from Ace Hardware over on Pennell Road. Um, so you don't actually need duct tape brand. Um, there's a little bit slightly less expensive um, and it works really well. And I actually think you get a little bit more for your money. Um, but I do also have duct tape brand in some fun colors. And I've also seen some Dollar Tree duct tape with some fun patterns. Um, I haven't tried that, but um, if you're looking for a little extra pizzazz, um, the Dollar Tree might be a good option. Um, and then just scissors. I like the slightly bigger scissors so I can cut through everything all at once. Um, so super easy. Um, right now I really like the Lysol wipes. I've given um, a couple to friends and they've been using them for the same thing. So the first step is going to be take your, uh, these are just Walmart brand, um, I think Hefty is the purple ones, those work really nice, um, but really any brand with this kind of zipper will be good. So the first step, um, these Walmart ones have this like extra little flap, I can't remember if the Hefty ones do, but you just cut it, um, cut it down to the size you want. So. These are kind of bigger bags, so I made some bigger ones, but for this one in my purse, I made it a little bit smaller because my I don't have like a huge purse right now. Um, so it's really whatever size you want. You're just gonna cut it. Um, try to make it as straight as possible, but it it's okay if it's not perfect because you're just gonna put duct tape over it. Um, so you can do all kinds of fun things. You can just leave it plain. Um, you got stripes got some borders. Um, you could do plain and then decorate it a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you one of these stripe ones today. Um, so the first step, you're going to seal the bottom regardless of what you do because you can always cover it up. Um, so you just want to seal the bottom. I like to just sort of measure it. Um, and you can guesstimate all these things because you can trim and actually the duct tape is pretty forgiving if you aren't perfectly straight. So I just sort of line it up and you want to make sure um, that you're sealing it uh, so that there's no gaps. Um, you want to like seal it tightly so that you don't have a st the sticky bottom. And then, so for this first step, I actually just trim it off because um, usually I seal the sides towards the end. So there's my base. Okay. And then, so the one thing that's different about the stripes than this version or this version is um, I do it as I go. Uh, whereas these, I did one side, then I did the other side. Um, and then the straight, the plain ones, it's super easy. You just cover it and then do what you want. Um, so I always start with my sides. So I just take my duct tape. And then, so I just usually guesstimate. Um, let, me, let me actually move these out of the way. Um, 
I usually start, try to make it even so um, at least on this kind, there's little lines so you can kind of make it a little bit straighter. And also if you notice your um, scissors getting a little, these are kind of dirty, but um, if you notice them getting a little sticky um, or you're having a hard time cutting, if you wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol, that cleans them up real nice and makes them easier to work with. So for this first one, I usually try and do about like half of the duct tape and flip it over and then fold this side. And it's okay if it's not perfect because you're just going to cover it up. So then my excess, I'm just going to cut it off. Okay. And then so I'm just going to do the black and green. Um, but you could do whatever you want. You could even do, like, there's so many colors and patterns of duct tape at this point. Um, you could easily make, like, a whole, whole multicolored fun bag. All right, so I'm just lining it up at the top and then going around. And then so with the stripes, the one thing you do want to do, it's easier to do it wrapping it as you go, lining it up. Um, you can do one side than the other, but it's harder to get them to line up evenly. So I'm sort of like line it up, the original, and I can see my other side. I'm just trying to line it up the best I can so that it's sort of like an even line. And then so you can sort of choose if you want chunky lines, little lines, um, just wrap it around. And I think the one thing I like about this, because they're duct tape, um, they don't necessarily have to be perfect. Um, but you also, if you don't like how it lined up, the duct tape is actually pretty forgiving, um, so you can take it up and do it again. Okay. And then, again, I'm just gonna try and get it as straight as possible. Oh, that's not perfect. Let's sort of line it up. gonna keep doing that until I'm done. how big that is uh, so the one nice thing with this is you can just keep layering so I'm just gonna put a little bit more green down here on the end pull it over and then I'm just gonna cut off this excess because duct tape is pretty sticky it's easy enough to sort of seal it off. Alright, so not perfect, but fun, functional, um, and now I can just stick something in here. And um, if you know it's just Ziploc bags and duct tape, uh, they're actually surprisingly durable and uh, last, last a while. Um, so uh, next I'll show you real quick um, how I do like a solid one and then just sort of fill it in. Um, this one's maybe a little bit easier because um, you 
don't really have to pay attention to the to the pattern. Option number two, uh, solid background, simple mosaic pattern with the hot pink, um, just to give it a little, a little pizzazz. Um, but really, there's so many options now with duct tape coming in so many colors. Um, like I said, I got some Ace brand duct tape that worked really nice in addition to my regular duct tape. Um, so lots of different options. Uh, let us know if you try it um, and how you like it. Um, follow us for more content. Um, we're going to be doing music stuff, um, films, highlighting local artists, um, and then I'll bring you guys some more craft videos. So just uh, follow, follow along with the Media Arts Council. If you want to hit that support button um, and help us continue to support local artists um, and bring you these kind of digital content, that would be great. Um, but I hope everyone stays healthy and safe out there. Have a great day.